Well, welcome back everybody. This next segment is for all of you parents or grandparents out there who are running out of things to do with your kids over summer break already. So we've got beauty and lifestyle expert Miss Noreen Young here and she's put together a list of some really cool, fun and easy ideas that can teach a child a thing or two and have a little bit of fun while they're doing it. So let's start on this side of the table. You've got some fun things on this side. What you got? Well, at the house, if mommy does makeup or the grandma has makeup, you can just have a little makeup party. So this is inexpensive, it's cool because you're staying inside and it's on the cheap. So what you do is get your clean makeup brushes and put a little tropical ambrosia gloss on her, put a little bit of blush on her, do the nails, maybe put a little eyeshadow on, or I like to call it fairy dust, because little girls love to look like a princess or a fairy. Uh, so that yes. means glitter. Fairy right. dust means glitter. Exactly. Okay, so fairy dust uh, or so glitter, AKA glitter, okay? And you know, a little goes a long way. They don't have to use a lot. You have to teach them how they have a whole lifetime to go crazy with their makeup, okay? <laughs> <laughs> But there is never a day that's early enough to get makeup on little girls. No, oh, I know gosh. what you mean. I know. I remember begging my mother for many years, and then she finally let me do it. Okay, Welcome. moving on. <laughs> and then we go to my favorite. You know, I love to have my hair brushed. I love to do braids. I love to do ponytails. And one of the things I notice that girls have problems with, and you probably do too, because that happens to me, mm -hmm. is we get tangles in our hair. Oh gosh, So yes. I discovered from the dollar store this fabulous Barbie detangling spray. And it smells Barbie? yummy, and it's Barbie. <laughs> Does it, and you could see. use it and I could use it. I'm going to smell it. This is from the dollar store you said? Uh -huh. I'm going to smell it. I'm just going to put it on. I'm just going to put it on here so I can smell. Oh, it smells really good. Yes. Cotton candy. That's why it smells good. This is <laughs> cotton candy Barbie. Yes. Oh my gosh, how great is that? Yeah, and, and the That's kids would cute. love that. That's so awesome. this will help detangle and protect the hair and mm -hmm. condition it as well. So you okay. want to help them groom themselves. Okay. And then you want to teach them how to use a sunscreen, that that's a best kept beauty secret. That from young, they need to use some sort of sunscreen. And we're talking preteens, little girls, you know, eight year olds, whatever. So they need a nice, safe uh, sunscreen. And I mean something that, you know, is, is nice quality. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, you don't want, you want to have porcelain skin, you want to teach them how they don't want to get a sunburn. Do you see this, Barbie? Oh, she's Barbie all sunburned. Burned up. Yes. Oh, her little face see is pink. Red? Yes, her, her arm, she's got a bad burn. So we want to teach them how to do that and show it with their dolls. I think that's a great idea. Yes. That's a really great idea to teach them. That's very yes. cool. Okay, moving on. Then, Cupcakes? <laughs> food. Are you we on food? food? Oh, We're okay. going to do both, yes. <laughs> All um, right. You serve them a little refreshment, so uh -huh. you could serve them some pink lemonade, you could do a cupcake, um, but before we serve them something, we're going to show them how they can make a little storybook. And the book you buy in Michael's or one of those kind of stores or a dollar store, and it's an empty book. And they are going to write with a Sharpie marker and some crayons and some pictures that they want to draw a story about themselves. Make them the book that it's all about. I like that, that because idea? I feel like these days we're not creative anymore. Right. So I love when I see moms and grandparents who are sitting down at like a little craft table and saying, here's a mm -hmm. blank canvas, go to it and actually be creative. And do your And thing. use your brain instead of your phone for exactly. one moment. Right. Okay, and this is like, I mean, this is like really inexpensive. So I'm gonna right. put it up here because you couldn't really see what it was, but it's just a blank book. Mm -hmm. And it looks like on here, it's like really yes. inexpensive. It's a, and it's that could be hours not, of this fun. This was a dollar. Hours. And there was another one in there. Yes. That's great. Great. And I then, love that idea. You know, as For a little reward, too. give them a little treat. Uh -huh. And um, we always have to have fun props at Noreen's Playhouse. So take a peek. Angelia, what's going on? I was going to say, you? is that a Pez? <laughs> oh my God. Do you remember Pez? Oh my God, how great is that? So, you know, I, I'm not the house of horrors. I'm the house of fun for girls and big girls. That's awesome. Do they even that make cute? these anymore? Pez? Yes, oh yes. my God, I had no idea they still made so this stuff. So they could That's do awesome. a little grooming on, uh, on the girl, a little uh, Barbie, or they can eat the Pez. I'm going to eat the Pez. Then, in uh, town, I'm going to show you a, a local twist uh -huh. Princess Patch. Girl Spa. This particular company has, uh, in, located in Murray Hill, has a business that caters to little girls. So this is a thought if you want to take them out of the house and you want to go somewhere. They do little manis and petties for entertainment purposes. They do Aww. little facials and uh, they put those little cucumbers on the girls' eyes. They they 
pamper them. It's all about glitter and frills and fun over there. It's really, really cute. And the owners have just put together the sweetest place. I, I went over there. So how cool that's how is I know. That? And I was jealous. I wanted to push the that's little girls aside. That's a great aside. day of fun right yes. there. Okay, so Last let's move on. Yes. Coconut oil with a Hershey chocolate bar and a smidge. And if you notice, my little thing says a smidge. It does, it says <laughs> so, a smidgen. And actually, I, I probably wanted to use, I used a little half a smidgen. So what you do is you take the chocolate bar, put it in a dish, take coconut oil, half a smidge, mix the two together, and you have a chocolate, liquidy, glossy, fabulous, shiny, edible, believe it or not, gloss. Now, if you're daring, you could put a teeny bit on how and you cool actually is this? can lick your lips. And okay, it tastes okay, see, divine. It's on. And it's, it's getting Hershey's. a little, it's and getting a little shiny. shiny. It is. It's yes. like super shiny. Oh mm -hmm. my god. And isn't it yummy? Oh, uh, hold on. I didn't get there yet. Yes. Okay. Keep going. Mm. And you can lick mm. and enjoy it. Yes. My so, lips taste like Hershey's Kisses. Right. Mm. <laughs> yes. This so is good. I like to, uh, this is a good use trick to the, do. Uh, organic um, uh, coconut oil. And what a quick Gotta little fun thing to do, and yummy and delightful too. I love that. What a cool idea. I get a little Hershey's kiss on the lips. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. And you can find these tips, these yummy tips, and more on Noreen's beauty blog at ladiesofthechat.com. And be sure to follow Noreen on Instagram at Noreen Kiss Young or Facebook for some awesome contest giveaways that are going to end tonight, tonight at midnight. And coming up next, a new home meal delivery service based right here in Jacksonville you're going to want to check out. We're getting a sample of what they offer when we come back.